Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. My name is Mods and today we are talking about something very important that so many of you have asked me on Discord and everywhere else. How do I actually install mods if I am a beginner? How do I install Fallout 4 Script Extender, the plugins? How do I overcome the plugin limit on Vortex? How do I um, install collections and how do I actually make the game run smooth and how do I install EMBs and make EMBs run and work beautifully. So guys, this is all I'm going to show you today. We are starting off with Fallout 4 Script Extender. But before we get to that, please sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you so much for your support in advance, guys. So we're starting off Fallout 4 Script Extender, right? This is a mod you can find off on Nexus Mods right here. And what you should actually do with this is just, you, if you use Vortex, install it with Vortex Mod Manager and you're done. Or you install it manually and you're also done. You can, e you, can, you can download it manually and with Vortex because then you're on the safer side that it doesn't crash and doesn't mess anything up just like I did. So after you installed it manually, let's say you installed it manually, right? You just open up your um, folder because it's a zip file. You have to have a zip, com zip um, extraction device or extraction program for this to work. Um, you might have all of, you open it up and all of this, all of these files as you can see here in my um, folder here, they go, all of them go into your Fallout 4 folder. This means they go into the folder where Fallout 4 is located, not into your folder where you have the data. This, all of this, as you can see, the Fallout 4 loader, the Steam loader, the what's new and the everything else right there, the uh, Fallout 4 script extender, go all here into your Fallout 4 folder where Fallout 4 is actually located, right? Not into your data folder, very important, into the normal folder. After you did all of that, you can install the address library for Fallout 4 plugins, and this is the same as with the uh, script extender. Just pull it up with Vortex or install it manually into your data, into your Fallout 4 folder, and you're ready to go with this one. And Buffout 4, very important here with Buffout 4 is that when you um, install Buffout 4, it has a crash lock engine, so actually when your game crashes, you can pull up the crash locks and see, hey, what mod made my game crash? Can I fix this? Should I uninstall it and what can I do with it? And it will show you the exact location of the mod too. So install Buffalo 4 the same as we did with Fallout 4 Script Extender with Vortex or pull it manually into your Fallout 4 folder. So next up guys, we have how to install EMB series, right? So um, when you have EMB series, you should go and just Google EMB Fallout 4 and the first web page that should come up is embdev.com.com right here. And this is the first thing you see, right? And this is the most updated file and well it also depends on your pc specs which file will run smoothly if you have a very good pc just like me just tap the first one and then you have all of this is just the logs what changed in the newer versions right and you click on this black arrow little arrow right here in the corner down below download it and then you can install it so when how you install emb series is very easy just a little bit tricky. So when you open it, uh, let me just check it right there. When you open the EMB series, right, um, you will have these versions right here, the wrapper version, performance version. So you should pull up the wrapper version, in my opinion. It's the best, in my opinion. And you should actually install only these two things, these two files, because this is the base on which the program actually works. If you want to install your own custom ENB via Nexus mods, then you should not install all of these. You should just pull up these two into your Fallout 4 folder and you're ready to go and to install your EMB. If you by accident install all of these, because this is already an EMB, um, don't worry, you can override them. So you install all of these, um, for example, in your Fallout 4 folder and say, hey, I want another EMB, right? And you pull up your, uh, for example, in my opinion, Reactor EMB is really nice if you have a good good PC. You pull up Reactor EMB, download Reactor EMB, open the file, open the main file, and it already tells you where you should install the mods. So Fallout 4 folder, not your data folder, very important too. And you install all of these three things. And if you open the EMB series, all of this stuff that was into you in your um, folder for the EMB is also in here. So you just have to copy paste them inside of your Fallout 4 folder and override the old files if asked from your computer. If you, what you always should check if the DLL compiler DLL and the other one are still there. If not, reinstall them with the file you downloaded before. So guys, this is for EMBs, how to install EMBs. Um, how to actually, well, um, customize your EMB, I'm going to show it to you later in-game in Fallout 4 with a separate video, so stay tuned for that one. Next up, we have collections, guys, and how to install collections, right? You have Nexus mods, and it's very easy. You just go to collections, and you click on your game. In this case, it's Fallout 4. You click on collections, go to most downloaded, for example, if you want to have a collection that's very, very famous. For example, the one by Vault Boy 101, which I have to say is a very nice one because I started on it and made on my collection on top of that one. So 
um, which you want to download that one. Um, it has very so as yeah, you can see, there's almost 100 gigs of uh, space for this one. You have to have a good PC with a huge um, space so to, for it to work. So you click on the collection, download the collection via Vortex, and just as I said, if you download the collection, go to Vortex. Do not run the game directly after the mods all have installed and you all cho have chosen your um, uh, well, settings and stuff in the collection. Go to plugins, mark them as light. I swear to God, mark all of these plugins as light because if you do not, your game will crash on startup. Mark them as light and your game should be ready to go, ready to play and have fun with it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is it for today's Fallout 4 video. Please tell me if I did something wrong in the comments down below. If I didn't say something, I'm going to correct that, uh, of course, in the next video if I can. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and a comment down below. And thank you for your feedback, guys. Bye bye.